Now this is a project of pan and zoom on a video. We had just finished pan and zoom on photos. This is a pan and zoom on video. So the first thing I need to do is pull up project ZZZ. Now you can see the little stars down here. That tells me that I previously had done a pan and zoom on photos. But I want to do a pan and zoom on a video. And this is a video right here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to see both edges of the videos. So I'm going to get rid of the transition here by highlighting it and hit the trash can. I'm going to highlight this one and I'm going to hit the trash can. So now I can see the complete video. I'm going to click on the video. Remember when it's dark like this, I'm editing. Now I am going to go to Toolbox. Way up here at the top, I'm going to click on Toolbox. I'm going to slide down here until I come to Add Video Effects. And I'm going to come over here under Effect and click on Pan and Zoom. And I'm going to click OK. Now I have controls here for Zoom, Horizontal Position, and Vertical Position. I also have Reduce Flicker. I'm going to click on Reduce Flicker. Now I'm going to simply do a Zoom as step number one as an example. I'm just going to move this to the right and see how I zoomed in on that. And so I got the train is much larger. I can adjust that to any size I want. I could go to the other side and make it smaller. Or I could go to the right hand side and make it larger. Now I can also move the position of this video from left to right. So I can move this video that way or that way. All right. And I can do up and down position, vertical positions, up or down. Now I can also come in here and zoom in by moving this. But I can also move the position left or right because I've zoomed in, so I'm getting the edges. Or I can move it up and down, like if I wanted to get that train lower. See, okay, I get the trains up here now and, and trains down here, so I'm going to try it that way. Now, here is one thing to watch out with pan and zoom with video. If I zoom in, this device up here, if I zoom in too far, the video right here becomes grainy. So you're going to have to experiment with that and make sure that that does not become too grainy. But it looks like we have accomplished what we wanted to. And so we're going to cl click out of here and we're going to put the transitions back in place. I'm going to click on transition. I'm going to bring one down here to the beginning. I'm going to bring it down one here to the right hand edge. And now let's play that back and see what we got here. Okay, so we have panned in considerably on the train in the lower side, and we can still see the train in the back. Okay, so that is a lesson in pan and zoom on a video. So everybody go to their computers, pull up Project ZZZ, and practice pan and zoom on video.